there everyone welcome back to my channel I have two new things from pure for you guys today one of them's a little newer than the other the palette came out a little while back and then they have this new foundation and I'm so far loving it this is the pure four-in-one love your selfie long wear foundation and concealer the complexion authority it says on there i guess that's pure's little logo so this is a really nice neutral shade i'm loving that they have a whole lot of different shades in this and this is a really nice bottle too this is sort of a glass i think it might be plastic but it feels like frosted glass it's very nice it's very heavy so they say you can use this as a concealer and a foundation and i didn't really pay attention to that until I got halfway through putting it on and then I realized I could use it as a concealer so I have it on as a concealer and a foundation today and I'm going to check in in several hours and let you guys know if this is long wearing and if the concealer aspect of this held up under my eyes because I just don't trust anything that's not an absolute outright concealer to conceal my dark circles and to stay on. So far, so good though. And then the palette is the Pure Out of the Blue palette, Light Up Vanity Eyeshadow Palette. So there's something kind of different about this little guy. The whole blue theme that they have is due to, it's trying to sort of counteract the effects of blue light on the skin. It says it's blue light defense, defend against the blue light's effects on your skin, which is damaging, aging, etc. Surprising about this palette. Okay, here are your shades. But what's surprising about this is that it comes with a little vanity with the little vanity lights around it there. And they light up when you press the button on the side. So cute. Isn't that cute? I mean, it's not necessary and you probably don't have enough light to actually do your makeup in, but it's cute. This is a semi-expensive palette for Pure. It's $49. Anyway, the colors, the shades, what is up with the shades? We've got quite a few metallics in here. Pure, Pure Cosmetics palettes are kind of hit and miss with me. Um, I have two others from them and they just feel like they lack pigment to me in a lot of ways. Um, once I start putting them on with a brush though, they, they do brush on much better than they swatch. So this blue is just thrown in there, just like pop of blue. I lined under and above my eyes with that blue today. And then we have this pressed multicolored white glitter. It is a really, really pretty glitter. So this glitter is going to be another one of those sort of greasy backed glitters has that greasy gel like clear background and then there's the glitter in there so here are your shades that glitter is looking really pink on camera so that glitter is multi-colored holographic glitter there is a purple like an orchid purple in there i'm seeing a green i'm seeing a gold and i'm seeing like a teal color so you can see some of these don't swatch very well. There's two different colors right here. They are not swatching well at all. Some of the other ones swatch much better. The blue is fairly well pigmented for a blue metallic. You know, blue metallics don't hold up very well. So let's take a look at this foundation. This is a two-in-one foundation. I can't, I can't believe I kind of missed that. I know I saw that when I first looked at the, the line in Ulta but then I kind of forgot about it once it came in the mail and I ordered it. So here is the color I have. The color I have is LG3. So I think the L is light. I guess golden. I guess there's a neutral, a golden, and probably a pink. I guess this is the golden undertone. Um, I tried to get something that was as neutral as I could, but I couldn't really find. They do have a really good variety of shades. They have a really good range. They have the undertones, etc. I had a hard time finding what I thought would be exactly right for me online. That is so hard to do. So I didn't want to go too pale. And I think that this shade is a little yellow for me, if you can see the, the difference here. I may take this in and exchange it and try to get one step lower that's a little bit more neutral. So this is a thicker formula foundation. It's not liquidy, it's not runny, it's not thin, it's not gonna be like your BB cream type. It is very long wear feeling. It feels like it's gonna be on forever and it is full coverage. So I used one pump plus about maybe half of another one today to get the full, full coverage. I have full coverage on. I have really a lot of faith 
that this stuff is going to hold up all day and I also used it as concealer. We'll see how it holds up in several hours, but let me show you how I applied all of this today. Okay, I'm going to go into this color called Turn Down and that's going to be my transition color. And I'm going to do that kind of right through here and then buff the top of that out with a lighter color. It's kind of like I'm doing my inner crease first and then doing more of the transition after. And I'm going to dip lightly into this wake up color and just sort of buff the edge of that, the top edge of that out. Not a highlighter color in this palette, so in more of my inner crease, I'm going to put this wine color, and it is called Focus. This is turning out nice. The other pure palette that I have is the Festival palette, and that one surprised me how decent it is in the pigmentation zone. I'm going to start patting onto my lid this icy pink called On Off. I've really debated about what to put on my lid on this palette. I didn't want to do another one where I have this color on my lid. I've done so much of those. So we're going to try this On Off color and it's kind of sheer. It's not, well, there's not a lot of color to it, but I am going to put that glitter on it. It's in this palette, so it may not have to perform just too well. And it's doing well. It's very icy. I'm going to start building this outer corner. I'm going to use this color here called Unplugged. The printing for these names is in white on the background of the silver. And when you don't have, see, look, you totally lose, the, lose it when you've got a glare. And now I'm going to dip into this color called Lights Out and darken up that outer corner. I am going to get that blue in here. Don't worry. Okay, I have to get the glitter in here somewhere. I just ha have to. And it's a beautiful blue glitter. It would be really pretty on top of that blue, but that is not really a good lid color for me. It's too dark. So here is some of the glitter, and I'm just going to press it in the middle, and I hope it doesn't look too terrible. Okay, it's not lifting not lifting the underlying shadow. It is a rainbow sparkle though, man. It is like blue in there and gold. Okay, let's apply this foundation. It says it is long wear. It says it's also concealer. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna put it under my eyes then. That will be new for me. I never trust my under eyes to anything but actual concealer. So first I'm going to try this on with a, a brush and then I'll go back and take off. If there's too much, I'll go back and take it off with my beauty blender. I'm putting one pump on and this is a tart sort of foundation brush like that. I'm just going to go and dot everywhere and then we will go back. Okay, it's a little on the yellow. We'll see, because a lot of times it kind of changes on me. Stuff that's too yellow will kind of change on me as I blend it out. Kind of a stiffer formula. It's not runny and watery. It's not liquidy. It's a little yellow compared to my natural whiteness. It's really covering my stuff. I really am liking the texture on this. It doesn't look super heavy, but it is staying in place really well. Let's put it on under our eyes. I'm going to put it on a brush. I have never done this in my life. <laughs> we'll see how it holds up too. I will let you know how this holds up through the day, especially under my eyes because I don't trust it to hold up under my eyes. Okay, the coverage under my eyes is fantastic. I'm not done blending that yet, by the way, but I'm excited. Okay, that coverage is beautiful for a, a, a foundation to cover my dark circles like that. I'm going to powder under my eyes with my Laura Mercier powder that's pressed. All right, let's see how this ends up looking. So exciting. Did you look at how smooth. Look at the smoothness. No wrinkles, no creasing. So because this is so... You know, it's a little yellow, it's a little deep. I'm going to powder with a very white powder. My Bye Bye Pores Illumination, that's a pretty white powder. This looks like it is covering everything. It looks like it is going to be 
a very long wear foundation on me. That's just the, the look I'm getting from this. All right, lining under my eyes with the turn down color, and then I'm gonna put that blue on there for sure. And I'm gonna dip into the Cloud Nine color, which is that bright blue. I hope that's gonna be a good liner because sometimes those blues, they kind of crap out on you as well as purples. Hmm. Let me go back for a second coat there. Hmm, okay, that held up. I'm gonna put a little more of the sort of tannish brown along the outer edge there. Some of it got sort of erased. So, so far so good on this. I'm gonna come in, come back in several hours and let you guys know how this held up. I think it is going to be a long wear foundation. I do have my Hydro Grip Primer on underneath. So there is that, but I am gonna come back and let you guys see. It turned out, the finish turned out to be sort of like a satin finish, not really matte, which is great. I just, I think the color is a little off. I may try to take it to Sephora and see if there's something there that's a little bit lighter. So I'll be back in a few hours to let you guys ha know how this held up. The eyeshadow I think is really pretty on this palette. I think it's beautiful. That glitter is just, it is not, like other glitters, when you see all those colors in there in real life, there are so many colors packed into that glitter. It's just really, really pretty. Okay, several hours later, and this is what I look like. Of course, I've already taken off my false lashes. The concealer aspect of this foundation is really, really good. If you can see, I still have my concealer. It's still all the way up to here. It's still all the way on all of the areas and it doesn't look any more creased than any other concealer normally does. So I don't look any drier, I don't look any creasier, and it's definitely still covering. So this stuff works as a concealer and as a foundation. I'm really happy with it. And it has mostly stayed on right through here where I always have problems with foundation staying on. I've got some cracking going on right through here. This is actually holding together better than most of my concealers do on my chin and around my mouth. So success on this um, pure foundation. Now I did go ahead and order a lighter shade tonight and I'm gonna take this um, little bit too yellow shade back. I ordered the next step down in the neutral um, tones of this, so I am going to get a better skin match for myself coming in. Oh, on the eyeshadow, so if you can see, the glitter is still in place. It has not fallen off, and it has not caused my shadow to crease or dissolve, which most of the time the glitter will look fine right away, and then after several hours you'll get creasing and some dissolving of your shadow. It is not doing that. So I will recommend the foundation and I recommend the Out of the Blue palette too. They are great. Thanks for watching guys.